So here we are on part one of this series of making a three-piece mother mold for the latex mold you can see there in the video of an Easter Island head. So uh, we're starting off with uh, making the seams and in this case I am making the seams out of aluminium foil tape. Um, I think if I'm gonna make seams for bigger items I'll use the paper and tape method to create bigger depth in the seams around the uh, original mold but in this case uh, aluminium foil works for me I quite like using aluminium foil because it's pretty instant um, obviously it's a bit sticky and a little bit fiddly but once you get the hang of it it's uh, okay so there I'm just placing in the pieces of cut up aluminium tape around the latex mold so I've made sure that latex mold is clean and dry before sticking on the pieces of tape so like I say there'll be a few parts to this uh, series of videos and we'll just start off with seaming waxing and applying the PVA solution which will act as our mold release to release the fiberglass mother mold from the latex mold when we get around to fiberglassing. So in the second part of this video series we will be fiberglassing the latex mold to create a fiberglass mother mold. So there we are just sticking the seams in place. Sticking the tape in place to create the seam. I actually thought at one point I might have had to turn this into a five piece uh, mother mold but I thought we'll probably get away with three pieces so there we've done the back of the model and now we're gonna run a seam through the center of the Easter Island head face just uh, increasing the depth of the uh, seam just underneath the ears there. And now we're going through the center of the face and the center of the model as evenly as possible. Over the nose. forehead under the nose there over the lips chin I'm trying to keep that as straight as possible and as symmetrical as possible and just turn on that round getting ready to apply our carnauba wax I always struggle with saying Carnuba, 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 Carnuba. So I'm just sticking a object underneath the mold there just so that it gives me easier access to apply the wax on the mold. So like I say we'll rub one layer of wax in and then we'll rub a second layer of wax over the top just to make sure the surfaces are well waxed so obviously I got a tub of wax there and uh, I just keep a rag in there which is pretty much soaked with the wax. I think there might have been a funny sound then. That was a, my cat just uh, bumping into the microphone. That's Astro Cat. So there we are, just applying the wax. So that was two coats there. Obviously that was on speed video, but I can assure you there was two coats put into um, the mould. So now time for the PVA solution, which is not the same as PVA glue in the UK. 
or wood glue. As you can see, it's like that bluey, bluish color. And that's our second part of our mold release. So we just brush that on top of the wax over the mold. And again, we put two layers of the PVA solution onto the mold. So there's the first coat. I actually allowed this to dry overnight before applying the second layer. So there are with the second layer. So obviously this video is pretty straightforward. Make sure you get your wax first and PVA second. I used to get mixed up on that and put the PVM first and the wax second. But P, uh, wax first, PVA second. I've got to keep saying that to myself. A mantra. So there we are. That's the end of this stage for our three piece mother mold for this Easter Island head. And the second part, like I say, will be making, applying the fiberglass to make the fiberglass mother mold. Hello, and here we are on part two of making a three piece fiberglass mother mold. So uh, we're mixing up the resin. The polyester laminating resin. I've got two pots there. So I'm going to mix one batch up first for the first layer, and then we'll mix the second batch up second for the second layer so that we don't mix it all up in one go and it goes off too quickly. So there I've got a syringe full of mech P, so that's four milliliters. So that's like uh, 100 to 1 ratio mix, four, millimeter, uh, four milliliters of the mech P to 400 milliliters of the polyester resin, the main parts. So we got a brush there. We obviously mixed up the resin, so I mixed it up. I mixed it up for about 60 seconds, and I'm going to put in a, or put on a coat of neat resin over our Easter Island mold, over the latex mold, and of course the um, aluminium tape seam, which of course. We showed how to do this in the first part of this series. So I just put a layer over there just to get in all the nooks and crannies and the recesses in those little areas. And now we're gonna soak our strand mat on our paint tray there. So of course, as, as always, I dip in one side and then go over with the brush to soak in the resin mixture and evenly apply our fiberglass pieces to the latex mold and seams as you can see there pushing out the air as we go through our through the process of laying down the fiberglass soaked matting strand mat so as you know, uh, regular viewers then know that there's quite a few videos of this, that and the other on the channel, including latex moulds, fiberglass moulds, plaster moulds and all kinds of stuff. Resin, resin casting, concrete casting. So you can see we're on speed video there, just to see the layers being applied to the mould. And as we go through, when I lay one layer of, or what one piece of fiberglass down, I overlap the next piece also. So on the first coat, you're effectively getting two layers of fiberglass. So when we put down our two layers, so there we are on our second layer now with the second batch of resin mixed up and poured into the tray. And I go through the same process again, and effectively we'll have four layers of fiberglass. And I kind of thickened, made the uh, fiberglass a bit thicker around the seam areas, and especially the top and the bottom. So probably got about six layers around that area. So we continue the process through all the pieces. So in this case, a three-piece mold. Just cleaning up the the tray there with acetone and cleaning up our bits and pieces, replacing our gloves, washing washing our hands and putting the brush in some acetone so we can use the brush on our next stage of the mold making process 
cover that with a bag so the acetone doesn't evaporate. And I waited 24 hours here. And I'm just going to situate the mold so it's going to make it easier to apply the layers of fiberglass to our next part of the mold, our second part. And as you can see, it's one side of the face. So of course, as always, mask and gloves. Always wear your mask and gloves while using this stuff. Quite vicious stuff if you get that into your lungs. So like I say, same process. A neat coat of resin just to fill in the recesses. And then on to our soaking the strand mat with the resin mixture. Mac P and polyester resin. And just carefully laying up the fiberglass and pushing out any unwanted air which may get trapped in the layers. So now we're on our second batch for this particular part. So in the first part, we waxed, waxed up the mold, the latex mold, created the seam, and applied the PVA to act as our release agent so that the fiberglass comes away from the latex. So there we are, that's part two of the mold. And the second part of the mold finished. We'll wait 24 hours again. Moving the mold in position to complete the third piece of this particular mold. So just propping up the cast there just to make it easier to work with. So again, two batches of resin with the MECP, 400 milliliters of the polyester resin to four milliliters of the MECP. coating the mold there like we did in the first two pieces just to get in the recesses and then we'll start laying up the fiberglass matting so in the third part of the video or the video series we will be applying the legs so that'll be after this part of the series. So I waited 24 hours again. And then we just trim those edges up to make them a bit neater before we apply the legs in the third part, third part of this se uh, video series. Get my words mixed up again. Or in the wrong order. So I'm using an angle grinder there. Sometimes I use an angle grinder, sometimes I use a Dremel-like tool. Go careful with the angle grinder, of course. You want to know what you're doing with the angle grinder, so if you're not sure or haven't had any experience using an angle grinder, uh, make sure you get, you know what you're doing, because it's a very dangerous tool. You don't want to chop your arms and legs off. Dusty job, too. So there we are. The mould pieces trimmed off and ready for the legs to be attached in the next part of the video. So I'm just sanding down with some sandpaper there, just any rough edges. And then we're ready for putting the legs on. I'm just dusting down with a paintbrush also, just to make our surfaces nice and clean and ready for the legs. So there we are, that's this stage of the video complete. We'll see you in part three for attaching the legs. Hello, and here we are again on part three of building a three-piece fiberglass mother mold. So today we're going to be attaching the legs. We're going to be attaching some wooden legs here, there, here, there. And these legs are some bits of wood I think I salvaged from an old bench or seat. 
So now I've cut them up into appropriate lengths and we're fixing in the pieces with a hot glue gun. And as you can see there, I'm kind of putting in some stabilizer bits. I'm not quite sure what the proper term is for that. I always seem to get mind farts when I'm doing the voiceovers to these videos. So anyway, so we're just getting the legs in place there. Three legs for each part of the fiberglass piece, pieces. And just put the back bit on there, the back leg on the rear side of the mold. And now we're ready to put in our fiberglass pieces. So of course in part two we went in more depth about the fiberglassing, so we probably know how to mix it all up by now. So I think I got 400 millilitres of the polyester laminating resin with 4 millilitres of mech P. Mixing that together, putting it in the metal tray as per usual. And we'll get our fiberglass mats which are already cut up and we'll place those onto the legs and the mould to fix it all in place. So I'm just brushing over there with a neat coating of the fiberglass mixture, the resin, and now we're putting on the fiberglass matting. I actually cut these bits up a little too big, so I did have a little bit of a problem with the legs, just, just sort of like aesthetically. Um, I should have tore the matting up a little bit smaller just to make it easier to sit around those legs and the mould just for like a neat, nice and neat job. So anyway, so there we are just putting on the fiberglass matting and where the legs meet up with the fiberglass mould, our original mould. And carefully putting the fiberglass in place with our brush. So I'm a bit slow in getting the videos up this month. I had sunstroke, which I've already whinged about already, but then I caught a virus after that as well. So I've been out of action for a little bit. But just getting back into it now. So washing up there with the acetone, washing out the tray and the brush brushes or brush, cleaning everything up, clean our hands up. And then on the next part in this video, I made sure that I tore down the fiberglass strips into smaller manageable sizes that fit, fitted around the legs quite nicely. I should have done that on the, from the start really because it does make life a little bit more difficult if you don't prepare your jobs in the right way. So there we are just dabbing in the fiberglass around those legs. For some added strength and try to make it look a little bit neater with those smaller pieces. And that's pretty much it really. So once that's gone off, we can trim the mould up and trim the legs to size and that'll be featured in the fourth part of the video. And that'll be the final part of this particular video series. Part four, that is. I actually uh, brushed polyester resin over all of the exposed wood. You don't really need to do that. I just can't help myself when I get into things. So I just painted over the, all of the legs. So there we are, job done. Or this stage complete. And we'll see you in part four for trimming up the mold and getting everything neat and tidy. So here we are again on part four of making a three-piece fiberglass mother mold. So just gonna cut the legs off to suit and do a little bit of trimming on the fiberglass and then that's job done. Oh, and also fix the bolts in place. So I'm just uh, cutting the legs down to size there and using a spirit level to make sure get the legs straight 
so it's nice and level when we turn it up the right way for making a cast from the mold. So I'm using a hand saw, but you could use a jigsaw if you want to. So this is a final part in this particular series, making a three-piece mother mold from fiberglass. So there we are, we've got our legs level. Now I'm putting a mask on, because it's going to be a bit dusty. And I just trim up the edges around the base, a little bit of fiberglass, and have overlapped while we fix the legs in place. So I'm using an angle grinder there, sorry it's out of view. It's quite hard to film these videos, the fiberglass videos, because I can't touch the camera. I'm just using a bit of sandpaper there just to sand off any rough edges around the mould, on the legs. And now we're drilling the holes to fit our bolts. So just kind of evenly putting the holes around the mould just to give us a good fixing. I kind of go belt, belt, belt and braces with the holes and sometimes I don't use all the holes but while I'm there I just drill the holes in place and there I am just making sure the bolts fit and now we're dissembling the fiberglass mould and taking it away from the, fiber, uh, the latex mould underneath from the Easter Island head cast and just carefully just hammering the screwdriver there just to loosen the mould pieces up and try not to make or create any damage on the mould. So they are getting our three pieces away from the original model. So far, so good. And just getting that third and final piece away from the latex mold. The bolts I use, I think they're like five mil. Um, and I use wing nuts with them also. So just taking away the base there, which we rested the cast onto, or original model, and now just peeling away the latex mold from that original casted model. So this was a relatively straightforward latex mold to make. Uh, I didn't put a seam in to the mould because I didn't think I would need a seam but I may possibly put a seam in if I was to cast this particular model again but we should be good to go. So just carefully peeling away the latex mould. There we are, we can see our original model of the Easter Island head, and there's our glove mold also. Latex glove mold, ready for just cleaning up, washing and cleaning up. But first we'll trim the flange around the base of the mold, the latex mold. It's really hot here at the moment. It's 30 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees Celsius. So I think that's around about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So there we are. And I'll just wash the mold pieces with soapy water. I like to do this just to, just to clean everything up and take away some of the aluminium foil. Try to get most of it off, or all of it off, if I can, but I'm not too fussed about the aluminium foil and uh, 
Every time you do a cast, a little bit more comes away anyway. I got all the uh, aluminium foil off of the latex mold though. So there we are, washed up, and now we can assemble our three-piece fiberglass mother mold with the latex mold inside, and then we're ready to go. So they were putting the bolts in the holes. So first of all, I just like loosely putting the bolts in place so we can get our latex mold into the fiberglass mold easier. And then we'll tighten up the bolts and secure the mold in place and then the mold's ready to use. So there we are inserting the latex mold into the fiberglass mold. Making sure the mold fits snugly inside where it should be. Just checking to make sure the mold is in place there. Now putting the rest of the bolts in, tightening the bolts up all around the mold and securing the fiberglass mold ready for when we get around to casting with concrete. So there we are, job done. Final part of the series. And we'll cast some of these Easter Island heads up shortly. Hope you enjoyed the video and over and out for now.